and welcome back to Ding the Perfect Playlist with Pete and Farah. Yes, we are on a mission to create the perfect playlist with a song for literally any scenario that you might find yourself in. This is the soundtrack to your life. (laughs) Yes, and the playlist does actually exist. You can go and find it on Spotify. Just search for Ding the Perfect Playlist. And on there, you can find all of the fantastic choices that our previous guests have picked and the ones that will be picked today. Such bangers. Such bangers. And... Speaking of bangers, no. (laughs) I was going to go into social media. I was like, how can I, how can I link this to our Twitter handle? This doesn't make sense. (laughs) If you would like to find more of Ding, then you can go back and listen to our previous episodes. We also do episodes where we write songs from scratch. They're great if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also find us on all social media at Dingfloob. That's D-I-N-G-F-L-O-O-B. Our music expert for this week, taking on the challenge of Music Corner, is a science filmmaker and an avid D&D player. Please welcome to the perfect playlist, Sharmini Bundell! Woo! <laughs> Woo. I kind of want to woo myself, but that's probably not appropriate there. Music expert. Look, no, Farah said, come be on a podcast. And I was like, Farah, like music is not one of my, um, what's it called in that game show where you have like speciality topics? Any of my friends will tell you, especially when it comes to pop music. I I have a very limited knowledge um, and I'm afraid that might be borne out by some of my choices today. Okay, well, I still have faith that your choices will be perfect. Aww. Yeah, you'll see. (laughs) We are so happy to finally be having this conversation because listeners, you would not believe the faff that we just went through (laughs) tech-wise. It was was, really quite hilarious. It's Um, been half an hour. It's been 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 on call on and off for half an hour. It was a great (laughs) moment where I could see both of them, but neither of them could see each other. So I was like a carrier pigeon between the two delivering messages. It was great, but we're ready. We're ready we're now. Ready now. <laughs> we're all here and we're just going to just gonna go for it. See what happens. So tell us, Shamini, what does a science filmmaker do? Because it sounds cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I say makes films about science, is that going to be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, great, I'm not, moving I'm not on. That is. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was it, yeah. <laughs> um, I can say it with enthusiasm. I make films uh, about science. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. What kind of science do you like making films about? All the science. Dinosaurs. Big <gasps> dinosaur fan. Yes. Uh, when when there's a, like something new gets dug up, or like there's some ancient creature and they've dug up some bones, and they're like, by studying the similarity between bone A and bone B, we have deduced a whole new tree of relationships for some obscure creatures you've never heard about. Mm. I love those. Something that has a, like a thumb that you didn't know it had before, or something. Or it's like that's it's, vital. It's got like a toenail instead of a claw, and you're like, whoa, that's key. yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Also, tell us about Ali. I mean. I know someone called Ali. Isn't I've got a your... character called Ali. Yeah, your character, your D&D character. Oh, thank goodness you <laughs> filled us in because I was like, who's this? The surprise mystery guest that's coming on. Yeah, Farrah, Farrah, can you not see Ali? Ali Ali's... See. <laughs> Ali's been here the whole time. Ali's been standing behind me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be weird, but like, how do you know about that, Pete? <laughs> how do you know these things? Because it's on your Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah but like, it's on my Instagram and like two people like like it on my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. Pete, you've just exposed yourself as not liking her. <laughs> yeah. things that you've been watching. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a watcher, not a liker. <laughs> so Ali is one of my TikTok D&D characters. So I got into TikTok and then I started making all these stories with different characters, but they're all me just talking <laughs> to myself, but in different outfits. I love it's it. Amazing. It's amazing. I love it's it. I, I watched them and it's like you're going on an adventure and then the characters yeah. meet each other. And did you did you do one that's like with someone else and they like duetted with you and yeah. as though they were talking they're, to you? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, they're like super evil and, you know, I, I, I obviously play the good guys. Yeah. I need someone to play the bad guy, yeah. But no, over lockdown, I also like got into D&D. That was something yes. that I started doing. Yes. So happy, Pete. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> it's I'm so so, can, can this be the D&D plugging podcast, actually? Yeah. <laughs> can we just... Haven't you recently started doing campaigns on Twitch? Yeah, like streaming for other people. We've 
been doing one with um, science as well, just so I can, just in case the D&D wasn't geeky enough, I was like, but what about with science? So yeah, we've been doing like a science and D&D nice. show uh, streaming as well, yeah. Do they have to like nice. solve equations and stuff in order to, <laughs> to get through to the next quest or whatever? It's not, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would be quite into that, but I feel like maybe that's too niche. <laughs> I'd watch that. Well, I think considering that Pete just mentioned that he first started playing D&D this lockdown, and I also had my first D&D experiences this lockdown, um, that we should start with the first scenario, which is when you first play D&D. Yeah, I, I really liked this. I was like, yes, this is the moment <laughs> for this song choice to work. Um, it's quite important uh, that you appreciate that D and D is currently using she her pronouns. Otherwise, it doesn't someone doesn't really make sense. Okay. Um, <laughs> but but I as as I sort of listened to this song, listened through, I was like, oh my gosh, I think this song actually is about playing D and D for the first time because a lot of the lyrics is about being someone else, being who you want to be, mm. walking the world, okay. having the power to give, to be whoever you want to be to give things to other people, to see the worlds of our imagination. I love it. Um, do you know what it is? No, but I'm hoping that some of these <laughs> was, words are lyrics. The, yeah. I was jumping on the lyrics bells. in, see if you could get it. Ringing yeah. bells. Is it Moana? Basically. No, no. It's <laughs> when you have that experience, you play D&D for the first time, and you go, suddenly I see. <gasps> this is oh, what I want to be. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it perfect? I love it. That's so perfect. <laughs> well, there's quite a lot of like references to she, so that's D and D. Okay, you know, right. D and D is is, is beautiful. I've just suddenly realised it might be that some people don't know what we mean by D and D. Oh, we should oh, we, we should explain that. what D and D is. My mum will have checked out by now. She'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> Dear <laughs> Pete's mum, sorry. Um, uh, D&D refers to the game of Dungeons and Dragons, one of a collection of tabletop RPG games, role-playing games, where you sort of act out different, typically fantasy-style characters, and you roll dice, and it's it's a bit nerdy, but it's really fun. It is fun. It is fun. It, it, when I first started playing it, it went places I wasn't expecting, <laughs> you know, because I feel like everyone's... <laughs> All right. I feel like <laughs> everyone in their head has just got like the scenes from Stranger Things in their head. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's hit, not, hit it's the like, you, can, you can go to the pub as yeah. your D&D character. You can like do all this sorts of things. This is what I didn't realize, like how you can just be so creative with it. I, 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 I spent a long time deciding on the outfits that I was going to wear and the kind oh. of like things that I was going to have been like nerdy about before. Oh, it was just great. I think what's happened is that, that, that Dungeons & Dragons sort of evolved from like wargaming and tactics and that kind of like, like battle type stuff. Yeah. And then now all of the theatre kids <laughs> have discovered it and are just like, oh my gosh, we're going to do the voices. Yeah. We're going to make really cool characters. We're going to have like deep emotional arcs and things like that. And it's like... <laughs> so many accents that still need work. <laughs> you go for That's it anyway. You yes, commit to it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. And then you suddenly see what you wanted yeah. to be all along exactly exactly it's the perfect choice of song it really thanks, is thanks so good what a great choice though it's all downhill from here just to warn you <laughs> <laughs> not with the strongest <laughs> yeah. i feel like our not to plug it, but also to plug it. But our ding song, A Horseless Knight's Tale, was quite D and D esque. Yeah, it could be. It could be a, a perfect song for uh, for playing D D and D uh, D D and D. <laughs> yeah, like with the whole like adventure and yeah. uh, the knight on the horse, and he's. I mean, the whole story feel... is basically a D and D campaign. I see some collaborative TikToks <gasps> coming. There are so many characters, by the way. Yeah. Like, are you saying we're gonna have to have a lot of costume changes? Yeah. I'm well, this is with this. this is one of the reasons we hadn't made it into an actual music video yet, is because we were like, can we actually find all of the things that we'd need to pull this off? Mm. But if we do it as a team, yeah. then it's less yeah. difficult. Yeah. Does it need a horse, or is that? Yeah. I feel like it's more fun if you have a fake horse. <laughs> 
what kind of fake like uh, like does anyone have a dog like do we have anything that's remotely say, like a horse or? Pete oh, it's not like any of us have access to a real horse what did you think was going to happen I don't know I thought someone was offering up a horse <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't heard us write that song, be sure to go back and check out season one, episode three. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a crazy one. It's, um, it's an adventure. Speaking of adventure, we mm. wanted a song for when you find yourself taking the bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's like one of my fantasy scenarios. <laughs> I like to role play. Uh, in we like to, we like, play to, uh, games. we like to really like send curveballs to the guests yeah. when we give them something yeah. that's just really, really every day. Yeah. And it's like, oh, Okay. This was my other favorite question, though, so I'm glad you've come to this one. Yay! Um, you might not like the answer, but I'm, 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 <laughs> I like it. Right. So, my first thought was like, obviously, you know, especially in London, like there's there's the obvious best seat on the bus, right? You get on the bus, where are you going? You're top going of the front. top top deck above the driver. Top yeah. front. Oh my god! Like yeah. Titanic moment, yeah. right? Like I could fly, I'm flying, Jack. Yeah. And then I was like, Titanic theme is not. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not really the vibe. <laughs> you, you hope just, that you'll yeah, make it to your destination. Yes. Yeah, it sends the wrong signals. Yeah. yeah. But that it is the best place for pretending you could fly. Yeah. Um, so I thought an obvious choice <gasps> no. would be, I believe I can oh. fly. Yes. I'm... And then I thought, no. Oh. <laughs> I thought, you know what? This is my this is my playlist. It's a good song. Uh, everyone will like it. People will be like, yeah, banger, love it. But no, okay. I I need more cheese okay. in my life. Wow, more cheese than that song. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to hear what this I, is. Then. I am really excited. Is <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm going to take... No, I'm not going to take a guess. Go, you you, go you can it. guess. Go to guess, guess. For some reason, my mind went like, what's more cheesy than I believe I can fly th- yeah, that, has, yeah. that focuses on the whole I can fly thing? Yeah. And I went a little bit towards Peter Pan. Oh. No, no, that's not. That's not like, oh yeah, okay. That's, he can fly. Cheery. He can fly. He can fly. But it's not. Fly. My it's mind, not... my mind went, okay, bit of cheese, hmm. bit of musical theatre, a bit of Defying Gravity. Ooh. Oh, that would have. Oh, that's. Oh, maybe shit. That was <laughs> I mean, oh, that was good. This is. The... Oh, that was really good. No. Oh, that was, oh, I'm standing at the top of the bus. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I'm soaring. Flying. Yeah. That is cheesy. Breaking free that is from cheesy. high school musical. I love it. Just sorry. I'm sorry, but I've done it now. High school musical is in the playlist. I'm actually a big fan, so that doesn't ruin it in my eyes. I think that's great. Good. Good. Isn't there now a high school musical TV oh. series about yeah. a high school kids putting on high school musical, but it's also a musical? It's so I'm, meta. I lost oh. myself in that description. A modern day Inception. I'm not sure how Christopher Nolan would feel about us comparing it to Inception. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what what do you do if the if the seat at the top at the front isn't available? You pretend you don't care because you're an adult, and, <laughs> <laughs> and you just sit in another seat and try and act cool. And if you blast that song loud enough in your ears, close your eyes. <laughs> it's your almost eyes. like you're there. <laughs> it's not. It's never the same. <laughs> But here's the thing. Are you the kind of person who, you know, if it's free when you first get on the bus, you take it and you're like, yes. If it's yeah. not, you go to the back. But if it becomes Do free during move? the journey, are you the kind of person oh, who takes it? Oh, God. No. I, I, I think, yeah, honestly, if there were other people on that top deck and someone left and the seat became available, I would just sit there boringly being like, I am an adult. <laughs> Staring at no, it. Just like, nobody nervous. look at me. Yeah. yeah. And then someone else comes and they sit there and you're just like, oh, I yeah. hate you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, can, you can guarantee there is more than one person on that top deck who would love that <laughs> top seat. And it is whoever is just <laughs> the boldest first and just goes and takes I'm it. I'm not ballsy enough. No. no. I'm What's usually too like too weighed down with like faff and bags and and crap to like start moving around all over the place so that's that's what holds me back and i i'm looking at all of my stuff like this is you, an excuse farah you stop me <laughs> oh i've got too many bags oh no how could i pick them all up like how did you get on the bus in the first place farah? it was a struggle and that's why I, <laughs> that's why i'm taking the bus <laughs> rather than walking <laughs> <laughs> okay fair, fair. Oh. What's a sad song from High School Musical that I'm just imagining playing in your head whilst you stare at the empty seat? <laughs> you gotta <laughs> go your own way. 
Oh. I was thinking, I was thinking of all the other bus bus passengers singing "Stick to the Status Quo." <laughs> <laughs> Very no, good. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I'll sit here. <laughs> Let's find the song "Bot the Top." No. Yeah, we're gonna. That's when you're climbing the stairs to go to the top of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Up to the top. There's a whole journey here through the you know High School what? Musical soundtrack. I think High School Musical was written about taking a bus. That's what <laughs> I think we've realised. Who knew it would take this long for High School Musical to make it onto the playlist? I know. It's a tragedy. It is a tragedy. Thank goodness Charmony has rectified that now. <laughs> You're welcome, world. I mean, in terms of musical theatre making it onto the playlist, I am glad that Hamilton got there first. I feel like that. <laughs> I feel like that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the door is now open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is very much welcomed. Actually, speaking of shows and theatre and stuff, Shamini, you've written you've written the odd show. So we're looking for the perfect oh, song for when you finally finish writing like a play or something big, like a book or whatever. And the perfect song for finishing your big piece of writing. Farah, I have to applaud you for that segue. That was Thank stunning. You. Thank you, I know. <laughs> that was that was one of my least rambly, most relevant transitions. Thank you. I'm actually writing a, a musical at the moment. Ooh. Um, or rewriting one of my uh, one of my old ones um, with a crack team. Wow. Um, when when you wrote, you know, when you finally finish that, you know, play or or script potentially, um, the thing that I mainly thought of was that kind of never happens because when you finally finish it, then you send it to someone else for feedback or you have like an editor and then like you think you finished and then suddenly you have like pages of notes and you're like, I have to change everything. <laughs> um, and like when it's actually a show that goes on stage as well, like, it could, you know, it'll be changing like, you know, second night, you'll be like, that, that joke doesn't work. Yeah. And then you'll be like giving notes to the actors being like, no, we're cut that. <laughs> I did bad. Pages <laughs> 5 to 27 <laughs> are no more. Forget they ever existed. Yeah. So on that theme, very, very tenuously, this is the, this is the weakest one yet. We love a tenuous um, one. We love it. Um, I have gone with uh, written on the pages is the answer to a never ending story because you're never really done. Oh. I don't know this song. Never ending story. It's a theme tune to Never Ending Story. I only really know it because they did it on Stranger Things. Oh, Never Ending it. Story. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Stranger Things is second shout out of the episode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we are plugging them for yeah. free, and to be honest, they should be paying for this. <laughs> so we've really, we've really started from the pop into the musical theatre into the just the. TV themes yeah. is where this is going now. I so, love it. Sorry. I can't wait. Yeah. We've got two more scenarios to go. I can't wait to see where we'll end up. We're, I think we're going to end up at Jingle. I think we're going to have Jingles at the end. What kind, of, what kind of a show is it that you're writing at the moment? So it's, yeah, it's a new musical. So, so we're all original songs, um, which is, you know, sort of twist on, on various classic fairy tale tropes, yeah. sort of particularly looking at the sort of, uh, in a fairy tale world, the sort of uh, expectations and very gendered expectations placed upon, you know, the, the heroine and the prince. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, at the beginning, they're like, yes, this is this how life is. Yeah. And then, you know, they maybe, I don't know, invent feminism and are like, what the heck, is, what <laughs> world? This is rubbish. Suddenly I um, see. Oh God, they all <laughs> yeah, tie together. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and it all gets a little bit, a little bit dark and twisted. Ooh. And you're like, oh God, what's happening? Oh. Amazing. I'm so glad that that is on the playlist. Those 80s sound effects are fab. Very 80s. Yeah. Our next scenario is we are looking for the perfect song for when you meet your neighbours for the first time. So basically this song just came into my head and I was like, yeah, this is it. And <laughs> it's Creep by Radiohead. <laughs> 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 because, because I imagine that you're there like trying really hard to pretend to be normal. Mm. So they think that they're living near a normal person, but inside your head... 
<laughs> I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> like, when you're wondering what, whether they heard the noises you're making through the walls, you know, like, did they hear me singing in the middle of the night? You know, <laughs> I'm just making TikTok videos. Yeah. I'm just like saying the same line over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> In the place we live now is like the first time we've ever actually like said hello to the neighbors, like actually actively rather than just like in passing mm. in the corridor. This is like a hello. We are the neighbors. <laughs> Did you say that? Because that is quite creepy. <laughs> like they are probably thinking you're going to murder them. Like, yeah. like no names, no nothing. Yeah. Just we are the neighbors. That hello, is how we are we the wish neighbors. To yeah. to. You may address us. It's like mafia us. hitmen. We're known as the neighbors. <laughs> you don't need to know any more than that. Just for the neighbors. Okay. For the neighbors. There'll be some sort of weird tagline that goes with that. <clears throat> Something about like collecting your post while you're away or we, we won't will water, water your, your plants. plants. <laughs> we won't. I, don't, I was going to say we will because I'm nice. <laughs> Wow. But you have to say it. No, the, the key is that you say you say it, but in like a threatening way. Right, I like your version better. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Do you like be me water. to feed your cat? <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like in this past year, more people have actually met their neighbours more. I think wave at each go, other, go bang a pan together. Yeah, <laughs> the banging the pans was some of the most FaceTime I ever got with neighbours back Aww. then. It's like you go banging you, the pans. You you're you just can. trying to have a conversation and they're just banging a pan in your face. You're yeah, like, you're yeah, like, uh, how are, are you? you? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm Farah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm imagining us all being really old and being like, do you remember the banging the pans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember we all went out in the street? And just banged a pan. To show that did we that... appreciated having health care. That was, that was <laughs> what we did. We're like, That's look how after shows us, our please. Appreciation. Bang, 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 bang. I'm slightly worried I'm going to get to old age and my memory's not going to be what it was. And I'm going to severely question whether that was a real memory or not. <laughs> just be like, yeah. Yeah. just checking in with all my friends. <laughs> I have a memory <laughs> when we were younger <laughs> of banging pans in the street and everyone on the street did it. No questions <laughs> asked. There was no announcement. Just everyone knew at eight o'clock to go outside, bang a pan for two minutes, and then go back inside. No conversation. Did that actually happen? Oh my gosh. Can you put it like that? It's just when I look back on it now, it's the uniformity of it. And like like I said, no one like saying like, everyone start doing it now. It's the, it's the, it's the fact everyone just came out at exactly the same time, banged a pan for two minutes, and then went back inside. If you were an observer watching that, you didn't know what was going on. <laughs> imagine what that would look like there's always someone that's like a bit late though i have to say that was me a few times and you start hearing and you're like what's that what's that noise what's that noise oh. outside and then you'd be like oh, it's eight o'clock on a thursday run let's just encourage to give our health care and our health care system the proper support it re- requires instead yeah. perhaps Probably better. <laughs> yeah Oh, dear. Be more useful, I guess. That might be more useful. Um, I would encourage everyone to go and follow NHS Million. It's a Twitter account that is run by healthcare workers, and they're trying to meet, reach one million followers to try and raise awareness of all the th- all the content that they're putting out about how things really are. Um, so I'd encourage mm. everyone to go and follow that if you can yeah. at NHS Million. Oh, I'll second that. Oh, that was a serious shout out. What's happening? <laughs> Ding has gone past wholesome into serious podcasting. <laughs> Quick, yeah, say we're something weird. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting um The final scenario is for that moment when you win an argument using good old trusty science. I, I really appreciate the, the specificity of these scenarios. <laughs> this one, however, I struggled with so much. And I was like, what would you say? Like, would you sing about science? Like, would you make some sort of philosophical point about how, you know, science, um, you know, it, it's only what we humans have crafted from it. And mm. and uh, ultimately, the only good it can do is is what we decide to do with the things we've learned and human wow. endeavor okay i got i got a bit <laughs> philosophical uh, but there, there are no songs about that actually, <laughs> oh, not yet i couldn't think, think of any good songs about the philosophy of science that was very disappointing so i asked asked my friend revy i was like what would you imagine would start playing if you just won an argument 
And basically what he said was the same thing I'd, that I'd already thought of. So I thought this must be right. Mm. Um, which is, he said, the obvious choice would be, boom, shake, shake, shake the room. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> And then I thought I could probably like wangle some more science in there because like it, it could be a chemical boom yeah. or a biological boom or maybe physics boom. the room's shaking because of an earthquake. You know, yeah, yeah. geology, right. get yeah. the geology, the geology in, there. in there. None of the rest that. of the song fits. <laughs> <but that bit. laughs> Don't listen just, to the rest. Just so that, yeah, it's just so that you can go boom when you win an argument. Just for like, perfect. All that is. I like yeah. it. Have you ever won an argument using science? Um, I mean, I think I have many, but I'm not sure <laughs> anyone else would agree. From my point of view, I won. <laughs> yeah. People will be having like a nice casual discussion at a party and I'll be like, well, actually, I think you'll find that scientifically speaking and I'll educate them all. And they'll be so grateful. And they'll be like, Charmony, we're so pleased we invited you to this party. <laughs> <laughs> they say it every time. It's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> yep. The problem is this question just made me think of like, I don't know, like Richard Dawkins or just people being like, no, science is, is has the answer to everything and will prove everything. And I'm right because science. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, that's, that's not really enough. <laughs> you can't just say that. <laughs> when you sing that song at the end, though, then it's enough. I feel like it really plays into the stereotype of a sort of arrogant <laughs> scientist <laughs> who thinks they know everything and will probably go on to create Frankenstein and you know, doom the world. All become Frankenstein eventually. Oh no, they've gone evil again. <laughs> Why does this keep <laughs> happening? I'm excited to hear this. I don't know if I know it. You will know this. I don't really know it. I know that that bit. Mm. Bit, bit, bit of that bit song of, that I know is that one line. Bit of Jazzy Jeff. I don't know who that is. Jazzy Jeff. The he's a, he's a prolific scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Professor Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> I don't think I've ever listened to this song. <laughs> I don't even, like, what is that? That isn't even familiar. Where's the bit where they go boom? That's the bit I know. <laughs> Yeah, I, know. Tick, I didn't know about the tick ticks. The tick tick is them marking all their science papers. <laughs> tick, 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 boom. <laughs> you can make everything fit everything. I've learned from doing this. Yeah. <laughs> you just look at the lyrics and you're like, oh my God, it is about that. <laughs> it's about taking the bus. It's about doing a science <laughs> it argument. Is, it is. I see it now. Shamri, that was so much fun. Can I have some points? Did I do okay? Tick, that tick, was tick, boom. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you can. Thank you. <laughs> Where can people find you if they want to see your D&D stuff or any of your other stuff? They, oh my gosh. So my, my Twitter, at Espandel, is a mishmash of everything. So you get the, you get the science videos I make. You get, you get like D&D streams I'm in. You get science D&D streams I'm in just to really mix it up. And the only other the only other thing is I do want some more TikTok friends. <laughs> is anyone is anyone on TikTok? Please come. Um, but only if you really really want to see like long extended narrative arcs of, <laughs> of like me talking to myself but dressed up differently. But it's better than it sounds. Oh shit! I'm not selling this. It's good. Um, no, but follow me on TikTok. I'm at Shelby dot B. Everyone Amazing. go follow. But thanks for coming on. Thanks Thank so much. You Thank you so much. much. I've had a great time. Thank you so much, Sharmini. Loved those additions to the playlist. Guys, this is an amazing playlist now. It really is. Do make sure you follow the playlist and go and find Sharmini. All you TikTokers out there, go and find her TikTok channel. It's really great stuff. And also, please, if you can, like, share and subscribe. Ding. Thank you to everyone who's written reviews and written to us to tell us that they're loving listening it's really nice to hear. And if you're not one of those yeah. people, if you're not following us yet, do go and give us a follow at Ding Floob, D I N G F L double O B. I love that bit where we spell out the floob. <laughs> You've got to make the floob clear. Well, I think we smashed that episode. <laughs> tick, 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 boom. Boom. <laughs> Shake the room. <laughs>